Hey, well, many people are bracing for the frigid temperatures on this race weekend. Ooh, thousands of runners will take part in the Houston Marathon Sunday. Haley's running the half marathon. She's here with the best way to dress for the event. I am. This is what everybody's talking about if you're running this weekend. And the good news is the doctor tells me they get more concerned on race day when it's hot weather than if it's cold because in general there are more heat related injuries that can happen. The bad news is we're not used to even training in these temps and you risk hypothermia thermia if you're not dressed for it. There are 27,000 people predicted to race this year and potentially more lining the streets to cheer them on, meaning spectators and runners alike need to dress for frigid temps. Dr. Vijay Jatwani says for runners, wear a base layer made of moisture wicking material to keep you dry, a windbreaker, thick socks, thin gloves, a headband or hat. It's important to think about your extremities getting cold, your ears, the tips of your fingers, your nose. So some fleece gloves would be great. Cotton is nice, it's breathable, but once that gets wet, it doesn't protect you nearly as well. For spectators, the biggest coat you have and multiple layers won't be too crazy for the weather we expect. Wear as warm of clothes as possible. Nice thick jackets, nice thick socks, maybe multiple pairs of socks. The start of the race is going to be the hardest part. Dr. Jotwani says to stay inside as long as you can. He says a big mistake would be to get to the corral, stand still, and let your muscles get cold. Signs of hypothermia include uncontrollable shivering and feeling confused. The bottom line is listen to your body. It's when you ignore those signals from your body that we see issues come up and that's what a lot of times leads people into the medical tent at the marathon. Other things to remember in the cold, still drink water and have something dry and warm to wear as soon as it's over. So I took his advice and I got tips from y'all on Instagram. Oh. And here is what I have put together. We've yeah. got headband, gloves, hand warmers. This came from an yeah. Instagram viewer who I, I did not even think about hand right. warmers. I've got my moisture wicking tights, two tops, a windbreaker, and a sweatshirt that I'm gonna throw away. I've gotta say that if you have asthma, this weather is particularly dangerous for you, so add an inhaler on top of all yeah, of this. Okay. I forgot about that, because I'm not a runner, but the way that people just discard their clothing. Yeah, because the we're gonna, so just, just volunteers are gonna come through and pick these things up and then donate it, so you're really, You'll never you're doing see a again. good thing if you do yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Interesting. Nice. Yeah. Good luck. Good this luck, starts Haley. the worst part. We just have to stay warm for the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay exactly. warm. And it's all yeah. worth it. Yeah. Awesome. You're so good, Haley. You're so good. We're very proud it. of you. We really Sunday are. Sunday afternoon, guys. Yeah, it's awesome. Exactly. Go for it. So how